Welcome back to Blue's 2-Minute Garden Tips. This is my grow light setup. Let's take a quick tour. As you can see, I have four main shelves, not including the top. I have two full shelves that I've raised up with some bits of wood in order to get the grow lights closer to the seedlings. You'll see I have, even though I only show six or so on here, I actually have one or two more lights than you see. I have grow lights on the top two shelves that are LED, and then I have a run of fluorescent grow lights that are on my third shelf, which I think I'm going to change over to um, actually LED tubes as well. And I also have mats, heat mats, on two of my growing shelves. And you'll see why in a moment, why I don't have them on all of the growing shelves. As you can see on two of the shelves, I'm actually growing some herbs and my lettuces. And they don't like as warm a soil, so I actually don't mind not having heat lamps on those shelves. Let's take a look at some of the electrical now. I know this looks a little confusing with all these wires, but really what it is is three plug strips. One goes into the electricity, and the other two get plugged into that one. The first one up above you see circled goes into the electricity at your wall. I have some room lights. Those are called work lights. I have a timer, and on the strip with the timer, I have plugged in another strip, and that is all the grow lights. They're all on a timer, so they are on and off. In addition, I have another plug strip, all those black wires. Those are all the heat mats. Those are plugged in, always on. In addition to that, I have a, a you can see the grow lights here plugged in on that end one. In addition to that, I do like to have the fan plugged in, always to power. After that's all done, I cover it all with a plastic, and that helps to retain the heat. I hope you've enjoyed the Grow Lights tour. Please remember to like and subscribe for more Blues Garden Tips. Thank you very much.